Okay, this is the phone. You have to put out the heat machine at least for 15 minutes or 10 minutes. I already put my own. So now I just need to open it. Okay, just remove the cover like this. Take out the cover because when you heat it very well, the cover will open very easy for you. Okay, now you need to take out all the screws at the back of the phone. There are so many screws. Make sure you take out all the, the screws. So many screws. You remove all the screws. Because these phones, you need to, the screen is a full set with the frame. So you just need to take out the motherboard, take out the battery, take out the connector, the speaker. You just transfer it to the other screen. Then it'll be okay. You don't need to put glue at the front of the screen. You just put glue only at the back of the screen. Only at the back of the cover, okay? Because the screen comes one set with the frame. So now we just take out first the frame like this. You put it aside, disconnect the battery, disconnect this connector, and take out this other uh, cover the, down here. Okay, put it aside. Okay, you remove the connector. Okay, put it aside. You need to take out everything and transfer it to the new screen. Okay, so now you just need to take out this screw and take out everything. You just watch me and see what I'm doing there. You understand exactly what to do. Okay. Now you have to remove the SIM tray. Put it one side. Okay. You have to remove this one black screw here. This one is for the motherboard. Take it out. Put it one side. Okay. You have to disconnect the Wi Fi cable. So, the net, internet, Wi Fi, and the network cable. Make sure you disconnect it perfectly. Okay. Then you try to remove the board. You just try to slide it up like this. Be careful to remove the board. Don't press the press it that much so you don't spoil any ICs. Okay, just ace it up like this very slowly. Then you shake the camera a bit. Okay. You take it out slowly like this. Okay. You remove the motherboard. Okay. Now you need to take out the vibrating because you need to transfer the vibrating. Okay. You just put the, the pencil down here where there's a passage side. Just put the put it down there and remove the vibrating like this. Okay. Put it one side. Okay. As for this one, you don't need to remove the volume key. You don't need to remove the volume key this side and the power button because the new one comes with it. It's already there. You just need to put the motherboard inside. Okay. So now we need to take out the charging system side also. There's another screw here down there. You need to remove this screw. One black screw. Take it out. <clears throat> okay and now you have to disconnect the network cable disconnect it okay or if you like you can still leave the one down you can leave the one down so that it will be more easier for you you just remove it with the motherboard okay and just it's the camera thing the fingerprints be careful when you raise the fingerprints up don't force it so you don't spoil the fingerprints Okay, just shake it from the side like this, a bit, a bit, until the fingerprints come up. Okay, like this, all right. So now you just try to remove the motherboard, okay, like this. You remove it with the network cable, so no need to remove down here. You can just fix the up one very easy. Okay, you just take it out with the network cable like this. Put it one side. Okay. Um, now you need to remove the battery okay you need to remove the battery now if you like you can still remove this one this one just the 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 cover for the ringer so the ringer will not get dust you need to put it on the all the screen so you put it aside here first okay now we need to take out the battery okay no need to use this kind of pencil to take out the battery so you don't spoil the battery okay you use another pencil the one with the big side here you just put it inside down here try to raise the battery be careful just give some space a bit so you can use the spray 
okay now you need to put a bit still the spray is like this one you have to apply this spray very good spray it can weaken the glue very easy for you just spray it inside there so the glue become weak then you open the battery just put it inside right on okay you wait at least few seconds okay get cold then you try to open it again just open the battery be careful when you open the battery don't press on the battery like this press on the screen down so you don't spoil the battery like this okay don't worry about the battery doing bend like this nothing happens the battery will still work just open it like this okay then you take out the battery don't worry about the battery nothing happens then you remove this one put it one side the battery just put it like this again it can still work nothing happens just get it can still okay okay and you put the battery one side okay now it's time to fix the new lcd okay all right so now you just take out this one cc sticker first you put it on top remove it okay we start with the downside first okay the charging system side now you need to fix this one first you cover the speaker side there so that the speaker will not get any dust put it down there like this okay then you fix the the motherboard down there the charging system motherboard make sure you fix it nice you fix the camera inside the fingerprint side fix it well <coughs> Don't forget to put back the one screw, the black screw here. Okay. Then you fix the next one. Okay, we'll make sure you fix the white one down first before you fix the, the blue one on top. Okay, fix the white one down. Then now you fix the white, the blue one on top. The white one always be down. Okay. Then you fix the blue one on top. Okay. Now you need to fix the vibrating first. Make sure you put a bit of glue so that the vibrating will become uh, firm. Because um, if you don't do the put a bit of glue. When the vibrating will like you have a call, the, the vibrating will make some noise. So it's better you put a bit of glue so that the vibrating will rest properly. Okay. Now you need to fix the motherboard. Make sure the cable is up, says the network cable is up before you fix the motherboard like this okay then don't forget to replace back the one screw on the motherboard make sure you put the screw on the right side where you take it you see the side is different with the other screw hole the side have a big shining circle okay if you fix the network cable make sure you fix it very very nice don't burn it you fix it very nice before you press the connector down so you don't spoil the the connector down there you fix the blue one also okay make sure it's very nice like this okay now you need to fix the battery you have to use a bit uh, double tip to fix the battery
go to double tape like this. Put this other side. Okay. Make sure you rub it like this, then you remove the paper on top. Take out the paper. Remove the paper. Okay. Now you need to fix the battery. When you fix the battery, make sure you fix the battery terminal first so you can get the right position for the battery. Okay, then you lay the battery inside. Put it straight like this. Okay, now you disconnect the battery again. Disconnect the battery again. Okay, remove the battery, disconnect it because when you fix the battery, you have to take it out before you fix the connector inside. So remove the battery again. Okay. Now you need to fix this connector. Make sure you fix it very nice. Don't force to fix it if you not get the right position. Make sure you get the right position before you press it down. Okay. Then you fix it on the LCD also. Make sure you get the right position before you press. Okay. Don't force to fix the connector also if you don't get the right position. Okay. Like this. Make sure you fix properly and fix the one on the motherboard, the charging motherboard. Also, make sure I fix it very, very nice. Don't fix it nice, the screen will not work. Make sure I fix very nice like this. Okay. Now you need to connect the battery. Okay, after you finish, fix all the connector and the motherboard, everything. Now you need to fix the covers on top. You fix this one on top first. Okay. They fix the one down, the ring aside. Okay. Now you need to put all the screw, so many screw. So many screw back of this one. Make sure you put all the screw. Make sure you replace all the screws back of the phone. So many, many screws back of the phone. Make sure you replace them all. All is very important. After I finish, put all the screws back of the phone. Now you need to put the glue right around at the back here so you can put the back cover. Okay. Make sure you put the glue right around. Okay. Don't put on top of the screw. Just put it right around and close to the screw. Just do it like this. Just put it right on. Don't on top, not on top of the screw. Okay. And now you have to fix the back cover. Make sure you put it straight. Okay. They use this rubber if you have the rubber or you have any other thing just put it there at least for 15 to 20 minutes so that the glue become very dry and the cover will fix perfectly the back cover put at the top here also okay don't forget to put back the sim tray Okay, there is plastic there. Take out this plastic and the frame here. Because the frame, the phone comes in full set with the frame. So just take out this plastic and put a SIM card inside. Okay, now you need to on the phone and check the screen. Okay, the phone is on. 
okay everything is good i mean it's okay hello guys if you like my video please subscribe to my youtube channel